I often hear from clients that they want to use monday.com and they also want to share a board with their clients because they want their clients to see everything that they're working on. The issue is, is they don't want their clients to see their internal board, but they don't want to manually update two boards. So I want to introduce you to a new feature in the VLOOKUP app that easily solves this. You basically can copy items from one board to another board and then automatically sync them, allowing you to have an internal working board that can sync with an external board that your clients can see and use and everything automatically updates. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. Before we jump into this tutorial and I can show you exactly how this new feature works, I just want to set the stage a little bit to explain a little bit more about the use case. Now, what I've done here is I've set up a task board. Now, essentially, this task board is a board that's used internally by a web design company. I have a lot of experience with web design, so for me, it's just easy to know what the tasks are and what the stages are. So that's why we're using this for this example. Now, a web company has all their tasks that they need to do to set up a website. Here, I just listed a few, but you get the idea. Now, a lot of times they want to be in touch with their client. They want to tell the client, this is what we're up to. This is how much time we've spent or this is what we need from you. They really would love to have their client working in Monday. The issue is, is they don't want the client on their internal working board because they don't necessarily want the client to see everything, but they want to be able to update the client without having to manually update the client within Monday every single time. So I wanna share with you this new feature by the VLOOKUP app. This is something that you do need to install on your account. You can simply go to the Monday Marketplace, search for VLOOKUP and install it. I've already done that, so I'm not going through all these the steps of installing it. Now, I just wanna walk you through the setup. I did a really basic setup just to show you the concept. So you can see here, we have this task board, which is essentially the internal board. There's just a few items, a status column and actual time. Because in this example, I'm gonna show you how this internal task board can update the client based on status and time spent on the project. We also have a client board, which is exactly the same setup. It has the same groups. You can see it has items here, which will add a status column and the time column. So the exact same setup. So what we wanna do is we basically wanna tell the client either when we need something from them and then the client can tell us back or we wanna update that on them on the time. So let's start with, let's just say purchase a domain. So let's say the first task is purchase a domain and it shows up here. And what we wanna do is we wanna push it to the client board. I'm actually gonna do them all at the same time. So I can click here and I am clicking on all the items and I click on apps and then you need to click on sync items to multiple boards. And this screen is gonna pop up and you need to choose which board you wanna send it to. And I'm gonna choose the client board and I need to decide which columns I wanna map. So here it automatically maps for me st um, status to status and actual time I need to change to time. If, you'll see that if it's written the exact same way like status, it will automatically match it. If not, you need to choose it. Now you do have the option to copy without sync. Now I'm gonna save and copy and you're gonna see what happens. When I go to the client board, all of a sudden, you're gonna see that all of these items are being created. It takes a minute for them to be created, but essentially we have the exact same items with the exact same status that we've had on the task board. So we'll just wait one more minute. I think that is all the items. Yes, that is all the items. Now, let's say that I start working on my internal board with my team. So I can start working on this and I can change this to working on it. As soon as I change it to working on it, if you go back to the client board, see, it changed that to working on it. So I didn't need to do anything to tell the client and they saw that I was working on it. Now, let's just say that this took me half an hour and it is completed. So I can mark this as done. If I go back to the client's board, see it pulled in the time and it marked it as done. Pretty cool, right? 
Now, let's go back to the task board and let's say that I need something from the client. So I need them to purchase a hosting plan. So I can change this status to client review. Now, on the client board, you're gonna see that this status automatically changed to client review. So that is signaling to the client that they need to do something. Now, let's just say that they go purchase the hosting plan and then they change this to client completed. That's going to show up on my board as client completed. And that's going to tell me, oh, the client completed what they needed to do. Now I can finish along with my tasks. I do know from the app team that developed this that they are going to work on updates also. So you will be able to send updates back and forth, which will be really cool. But essentially what I can do is I can add items here or, or add statuses, sorry, or time and it automatically updates there. So let's say I want to create a WordPress account. One last example. Let's just say it takes me an hour and I've completed it. So again, I can go back and show my client that it took me an hour and it is completed. And you can see that I have the total information here. Now, one other idea I have about this is that you also can create a dashboard. So let's just say the client wants to understand what's the total time spent or how many projects or what's the status of all the projects. So if you go in here and you create a dashboard, and we're going to start with a really quick, easy dashboard. So I'll just start with a chart. Let's say the status of all the tasks. So they can come in here and see the status of all the tasks. Now, remember, as your internal team is working, let's just say we change these statuses to working on it. Okay, so we have two more tasks that we're working on it. As soon as we go back to the client board, they see that, they're wor that we're working on these tasks. Now, this is a really simple, straightforward use case that I've showed you with these two boards, but there are endless possibilities of how you can sync data from one board to another board and automatically have the information there. This actually cuts out a lot of difficulty that people have either with connected board columns or mirror columns. So I highly suggest that you check out this feature and let me know what kind of use cases you're using it for. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.